Fellas, is it hard to get a job in this current job market? You spend so much money going to college, trying to get a good education, and turns out layoffs, hiring freezes, the economy is down the shithole, inflation is so high, a junior chicken is like three plus dollars, man. But don't worry, even if you can't get a job, there's a simple solution to make money. Just stream, bro. Just make content, bro. And right now, that is the option being thrown at our demon lord. He does not have the familiar thing. You know, he can't get a proper job. The resume job time gap between the last time he had it and the relative experiences. None of it's working. So just stream, bro. It's so easy, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Storyma. And once he gets big, right, his power is rooted to the amount of faith people have for, you know, a demon lord. So he's gonna get super popular viral, then a bunch of people will glaze him, then he'll return back to his full power as Veltal. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Sounds like a mom. Sounds like the parents. Mom! I'm gonna drop out of school and go play Fortnite full time. No, little Timmy, you gotta stay in school, okay? True, get a real job. That's right, get a real job, loser. <laughs> Plus his aura. <laughs> Plus his aura that can be felt through a screen. Yeah, maybe. Oh, he's locked out of games too because no familiar? That's fucked up. Older games. Entertaining others is a respectable job. <laughs> Here's my take on this. Do I expect to be respected for reacting to anime and saying bald or saying oh, titties no it, it, it's just for fun there, there's it's there's nothing deep about this we're just fucking having fun it doesn't need to be a real job none of that shit matters focus on having fun and everything else will sort it out <sighs> it's the only option what else is he gonna do now, what'll be interesting is how he quote unquote goes viral because like you can't just start up a new stream without it's hard to pop off. You're going to have to build up, you know, with that content through years on end. And then finally, you might be given a lucky break, right? By preparing yourself and an opportunity knocks on the door. How is Veltal just going to like immediately get to like 10K Andy status? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> That's such a small tub too though. It's pretty tall. This tub is so big. It's kind of small and very cramped, but like the height, goddamn. Look. Aether network. Internet. Internet lore. His smartphone. That's right, misinformation bro. People just capping. <laughs> He's like, ah, Aether Network, Internet. People can just say whatever they want. No way to fact check. This could lead people into, you know, hive mind, you know, like, you know, cult, like, you know, like echo chambers. Perfect. I can take advantage of this. Oh, Makina. I mean, that is the uh, classic thing to do, right? It happens in Index, right? After a hot spring, I know this is a bath. You're supposed to drink, you know, chocolate milk while going like this. And you, you do this thing, but I, I think she's doing this to flex. Look at her face. I think she's completely doing this to flex. Who opened that door, bro? <laughs> now someone's watching. Don't, don't worry. Don't <laughs> Mm. I thought that she did it intentionally, trying to seduce him. Oh, they'll tell someone. <laughs> My body is better though. Lol. Okay. She seems a little shocked for that. Oh shit, this is the future, bro. 
actually Amazon try to do this shit, right? With their drones, they're trying to do like, like, it's not like prime delivery. First day delivery, no, I want that prime now. I clicked a button, package should arrive, right? A drone should be throwing the fucking package through my window once I click buy now. Right. Yo, he got a gamer chair. <laughs> he got the triple monitor set up. Let's go. Oh, also, that wasn't really from Amazon, right? This is like, uh, not their even version of Amazon, but this is like her old setup. Like, we didn't buy this shit. This is reused, uh, you know, equipment. Alright. How to sell him? Pour him out. Just look at how Niji Sanji. Yeah, I know there's a lot of drama with Niji Sanji, but just look at how they deliver, they develop their boy talent, right? The the Luxian group just literally just go Vox Akuma route. He looks like him. Sultry fucking voice demon. Do that sexy ASMR like, oh, you've been working hard today. That's a good girl. Why don't you come to Demon Lord stream and relax and give me a fucking five hundred dollar donation right now? <laughs> Hmm? All right, when, whatever he touches, he has like a passive or he touches something. He's just like good. He just knows how to use the technology, right? All right. Yeah, he got that built-in passive. What are we doing? We playing a game? What game are we playing? Demon Slayer? <laughs> Sorry, uh, Demon Souls. Sorry, Dark Souls. No, he sucks actually. You died. Honestly, being a bad gamer, like you'd be surprised, right? So like when you, when, I, I've noticed this where basically like, um, if you're streaming and gaming is your entire content, you have to be really, 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 really fucking good. Or you have to be really, 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 really fucking bad. If you're in the middle, you better have an entertaining personality because like no one cares about mid gameplay. They want to see like the extremes of like, you know, the pros, like a faker playing League of Legends or someone that's so fucking bad that you're just laughing at them. You know, it's like those struggle games, you know, you're challenging this boss for like seven hours and chat's just laughing at the streamer, just like molding because they suck at the game, right? Or again, that's like be really good, be really bad or be entertaining enough to kind of like carry the content with your commentary. Uh -huh. Indeed. <laughs> Sucks, bro. <laughs> Roll, man. Fucking roll. I mean, this is entertaining in its own way. Um, I think we're cooked. <laughs> okay. He can understand, but his proficiency sucks. Not really. He can monetize this. Yeah, exactly. It's a compliment. Yeah? I guess for like VTubers, like the intro is kind of really important, huh? Um, there was that one VTuber I clicked on to stream once because it got recommended on YouTube. I think she was from Hololive, uh, Kroni. And I think there was like a, she did like Kroni Chua or something, right? You do like an intro thing and you basically turn on the stream. You know what I do? <laughs> I literally just do this. And basically this is when I just got back home from the gym. And I'm about to go take a shower and prepare myself. And then I'm basically AFK for like 40 minutes. And you guys are there. And then I change to this. And then I don't acknowledge chat at all. I'm not even talking to the mic. I'm just fucking doing YouTube upload stuff. And then we just get started. Maybe I should have, you know, an intro. Maybe I should be like... I should do the Frieza intros. I should be like... <laughs> Hello, monkeys. That's how we should start the stream every time. Job. You gotta be like 0.01%. I thought that uh, Makina wanted to be like Sugar Mama and like, you know, uh, what's it called? You know, uh, take care of Elcha. Right. Just be yourself. Literally, just do the Demon Lord persona. Just be yourself, and because of how crazy it is to everyone else here, it'll be amazing. Wartime declaration? <laughs> Damn! This is good. Amazing! 
That's great. Amazing. Ah, Applaud. It doesn't? He, it doesn't grab attention? Should he just take his shirt off and just say that topless? Okay. Teach me. OBS, the recording software. OBS. Flames. No 9-11 jokes. Mm -mm. We do not glorify that kind of stuff. We are a PG-13 channel. I've learned my lesson. Yeah, yeah Maki dude, if Makina shows up, bro, there's gonna be so many girls that watch him because he's so sexy. And then as soon as they realize that Makina shows up behind the frame, they're gonna be like, oh, does our demon lord have a girlfriend? I can't believe this. Unsubscribe. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do it. So uh, I was thinking of like, how is our demon lord gonna get such like an upstart? It's so hard to like just start streaming. You're gonna be forever just stuck at zero viewers. If there's any aspiring streamers watching this shit, don't start with Twitch. Well, that's not really right. You shouldn't go into streaming thinking that there's a popular game and you can just play it and just be live and you'll get a lot of views. It will not happen. And if you're someone that has no connections, you need to make YouTube content. You need to broadcast yourself and ideally, right? The formula should be everything that you do live should be YouTube content, which gets promoted through its own YouTube recommendation. You build an audience on YouTube and you make it so enticing that people want to check out your live streams. Like, why do I even have the chat shown here? Because every monkey wants attention and wants their voice to be heard. Perfectly fine. Makes people want to actively, you know, show up to the chat, to the stream and actually engage, right? Rather than just kind of like observing what I'm doing with chat. Also, you know, there's some other stuff like visual filters and actually getting the full cut content, right? But like stream with intention where the stuff that you do on stream can be YouTube content, which goes to build YouTube and then kind of ports that audience over. You will never get an organic audience from Twitch. You will never. You can literally just scroll to thousands of streamers who has like one to three viewers that have no fucking clue what they're doing. All they're doing is grinding every day, thinking that if I just play this fucking trending video game, that people will somehow find me on Twitch. You're wasting your fucking time. You will forever be buried just under this huge saturated amount of people that's all trying to stream because it's so easy to stream. It's such a low like um, barrier of entry. Anyone can do it. That means it's even that much harder to be successful at doing it. And if you're going to streaming thinking like, I'll just stream and it'll be fine. No, no, no. You got to build a YouTube audience and maybe you could even make some TikTok shorts, right? With that YouTube stuff. And those two should be funneling the audience over to Twitch where you have organic uh, people coming from other platforms to Twitch. Or be a Nepo kid. Have some fucking connections, man. Just have some connections and do this shit. Not if you're a hot tub and booba though, diff story. Nah, completely wrong. A lot of people have this false notion that girls have it easy because if they're just like moderately pretty and they have tits that they can just pop off. Nope. There are so many girls that try to use that NSFW content to grow. They're also fucking hard cap. They can't grow. Literally, like just because you have tits means nothing. Quite, there's so many people too where because like they'll find you because of the titties and the fan service. But if you have no personality to keep people coming back, you're just dead. I've seen so many people in the hot tip category, blah, 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 trying to copy like Asian Bunny X, Mork Pie, Amaranth. They can't fucking do it. They'll also be buried underneath. And on top of that, you think that it's easy for girls to do that? You have to realize they've just shown their face and their private parts online. Stuff that gets recorded online doesn't go away easy. So you're thinking that girls have it so fucking easy. I think that they have it even harder. You think that this shit's easy money? It's a fucking double-edged sword. Sure, you see like the top like 0.001% of them succeeding. What the girls have to do to get that part? It's, it's, it's literally selling your fucking soul to the devil. And most of the times it's not even going to work. It's so sad. <laughs> They're all watching. They're just doing mass fucking ad, bro. Veltala fraud. No, he's not a fraud. He's using his connections and the hacker girl has a lot of different people they know and they're just fucking plugging his ad, but you know, not everyone can just do that. Game <laughs> Wait, <laughs> every fucking chat is TTS.
he's agreeing with them. <laughs> Look at the chat. Someone's jealous of the hottie. Gotta be a shot. But he's ugly. <laughs> he's farming chat. He's farming chat. Because it works. Oh, okay. Very smart, Veltal. I low-key want to see like a scene where there's like girls like simping for Veltal so hard and Makina gets jealous of like, No, that's my demon lord, you whore, stop donating to him. They're looking good though for our demon lord. And he's hit a million subs or followers. <laughs> demon lord. Yeah, look at that production value, bro. He even got a fucking intro scene, bro. Look at this. Yo. Mortals. What an intro. Whoa. Last time for sure, bro. Yes, my lord. Oh, shit. We're being spied on. <laughs> I beat him first round is the fucking best comment. <laughs> like, there's always gonna be that person, right? It's just like, yay, we finally did it, guys. We beat a boss. And a lot of people will saying, congratulations. Let's go, our demon lord. I'm so proud of you. And there's that one person. <laughs> I beat this first run. You are so noob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's even, he's even reading chat. Look, 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 he's reading chat. Look at that role play. Oh, shit. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Hit that notification button. Bye, Mao Sama. Until next time. Wow. Another shift, baby. Someone's tracking us, though. I don't feel good about this. Yeah, it's the ghetto. This poverty city. The hero. The hero. That has to be the hero. Bro, what happened? I thought you died. That's our boyfriend, man. How are you here 500 years later? The fuck? Backstory. Hero backstory? Oh no, the hero has a sick sister. Thanks, Dad. Is a sister also named Meldia after the goddess? I forget, it sounded the same. The Demon Lord's banners? No. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, looks like the sister doesn't have to suffer anymore. Damn, just get back the fire house is on fire. Yeah, I feel like this isn't the first time I've seen a setup like that. Some sort of flashback. We leave the house for a bit, something bad happens, immediately, boom, on fire. Like, I swear to God, this is some cliche, some trip that happens quite often. We're taking Graham out to eat. Graham probably doesn't have a familia either. This is awkward. <laughs> that, that was some days of my stepsister's shit for a second. Just, just the tension, the silence is so fucking deafening. It's just like, oh, this is so awkward. Oh. <laughs> okay. Kitsune udon. Wasn't that like, wasn't that like fox udon? Hey, I don't know what the boot thing is. He blames Veltal for this. I mean, shit. It's looking like the Lizardmen, you know, faction of the six whatever elites that we have, that's under our rule. Maybe it was just like a shitty person and we had no idea of it. So it's not really our fault, but it kind of still is. 
多くの家臣を滅せられているのだからな。だが今、いかにも、いかにも、それよりも、貴様はなぜここにいるなぜ、上妙の貴様が生きている yeah, how? 不死になったな。You can just do that? 貴様は世に行ったな。限りある命は輝くのだと。Yeah! That was literally a thing! Like, how could a mortal be so strong? Well, it's because you immortals don't cherish your lives. We have a finite time, therefore, we make more out of it. Why? It's a little different. I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. Eternal youth, which is pretty much immortality. It's not? Merdia. I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. Meldia, goddess, hates old age. Civil war amongst the mortals? I'm just a bit. I thought the whole immortality thing was that they don't age. No, 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 no. They can age, but they don't seem to get really older. I'm not sure. But they will never die of like aging, natural death. They can die by getting their heads cut off. For the hero, eternal youth is kind of similar where. They, they keep aging, but they they just stay youthful. While the immortals would actually become youthless. I don't know, but they can both die. They can still both die. So if the world is destroyed, then I will be the one who will be punished. You shall be punished. Looking like the people that you saved were just monkeys. Rosemen threw it. His sword is like rusting. I don't know. What a good person. He wants to unite everybody. That sounds like a slur. Who started it? Chicken or the egg? Okay, so with this idea of world peace basically becoming that ultimate power so that no one would, no one would you know, ostracize each other, but rather everyone would direct their hatred towards the demon lord, and that's his idea of world peace. It's a practical working solution. The hero is idealistic, though. Yeah, his own people literally fucked him, backstabbed him. I don't know. At least he said thank you for the udon. Bye. There's no way this is the end of him. What can the hero do to regain his hope back for the world? Should we just do a collapse stream? We're basically role playing as the demon lord. So now we can have the hero as well, and they can have like a weekly collab stream where it's like the hero and the demon lord collab. Wow, big night! Wow! Hey, hello everybody! I'm the hero Graham! You know? Maybe he can go a different route. Instead of being a streamer, he can be like an idol, like an actor or something, you know? There seems to be posters of like cute boys and, you know, femboys and husbandos in that one girl's room that, you know, our hacker girl's reaching out to. Maybe he can go the Oshinoko route. I don't know. My existence is... Whoa. This is pretty deep. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is pretty deep here. But that means that Demon Lord doesn't exist either. We're like tied together. You exist because I do, and vice versa. I'm starting to realize Machina shouldn't worry about other girls, but worry about Graham. I feel like this is the real shit, man. The brotherly bond that shares between the hero and the demon lord, I feel like it's more dangerous than any other girl. Oh? Hacker girl. She fucking around with the Yakuza? Bald. Bald. Is that bald? What kind of hairstyle is that? He probably just put rings on his head, bro. That's not hair. Bald. Bunny bones. That her nickname. Yeah, bro looks like a triple fucking table saw. Ooh. 
Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and at this point, Veltal should be super strong. Remember? Is this the guy that basically just destroyed us, actually? Now that I think about it. Was this the same guy, the street thug, that just destroyed us in episode 1? Because if it is, then it's good payback. It, it, it is him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, before, Veltal has no power. Because no one has faith in him. But he's streaming hard. He's been grinding. There's been a lot of time that's passed. Bro has like a million followers. So I'm sure like he should be pretty strong now. Yeah. Same guy. Let's see it. Yeah. Million subs. <laughs> No. Healing. Regeneration. Nice. Alright, he's super strong. This is the exact same thing too. He, like, Veltal just got trashed and he got thrown into like a pile of trash, right? Exact same treatment back at you. Yeah, you're powerful. Maybe we can beat Marcus now. The voice acting, the English, the podge. It's just, everything she says is such a serious voice, but the pronunciation. Podge. Okay, okay. Halation. <laughs> Yo, her English is crazy. Her English is actually amazing. The halation was actually so good. What? Just a um, I probably should have focused there a little bit more. Hold, hold up, hold up. How are the things going with the rat sniffing around about the furnace? Um, is this hinting at the drones that was kind of spying on Machina outside of our apartment? I'm not really sure, but we completed the purge yesterday, so okay, all the rats, you know, sniffing about are just all done. And our scheme is progressing smoothly on that other matter so they got a different plan that they're cooking up once it's ready she'll head there personally to our apartment i don't know i was too focused on her you know voice acting <laughs> we just smuggling all right we're part-time bodyguard now we're going in <laughs> my demon lord it is i demon lord he should have done the fucking Demon Lord intro, bro. He should have done the, he should have done the stream intro. Hello, everybody. It's our Demon Lord here. And that is today's episode of Mile 29.9. And it just keeps getting better. Genuinely, this show is... Every episode has been pretty, like, really, really fun. Like, we even got, like, a whole realistic uh, approach on stream. Now, is it realistic? No, it's not fucking realistic. Ain't no way you could just fucking start streaming and get a million subscribers like that. But it's not supposed to be realistic. It was cool that they kind of showed us like, hey, this your setup, you know? You like your familia, so you got to play these old games like the Dark Souls games. But you got the OBS setup and everything. And the intro, the intro is very, very important. Probably for the Japanese streaming culture and status things. I don't have a fucking intro, but maybe you actually really do the whole Frieza thing and it'd be like, <laughs> hello, monkeys, whenever I... uh start the stream now he's gotten a lot of clout a lot of more people have faith the haters and the glazers so he's very very powerful hero Graham has attained the eternal youth thanks to goddess milada or something because we you know we slayed a demon lord and he's just still soul searching he seems very depressed he doesn't even know what the point of his existence is he's like the hero does not need to like the hero does not exist but veltal makes a point where it's like you and i or two sides of the same coin. My existence is proof of your own. 
And then the final point, it's looking like we're doing some shady, I don't know, smuggling stuff, some theft, some thievery. Veltal is, you know, a bodyguard now. And then they're also organizing some scheme. They have some other plans regarding Marcus, so that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.